This is the parable of the college students in the rope, narrated by Miss Libaniak. A story of physics. A bunch of college students took a long cable and attached one end to the middle of a bridge as shown. They wanted to hang from the end of it and swing safely to the other side, as all college students would want to do. The problem was they calculated the necessary strength of the rope by just equaling it to their collective weight, which we know is not what you're supposed to do. The rope broke at the bottom of the swing and a few of the students were injured, but not seriously, thankfully. This is a child's fairy tale after all. Funny thing is many of them had taken physics. The irony of that. Assume that the rope was eight meters long and that the three students average mass of 65 kilograms each wanted to swing on this rope all at the same time. A wise idea indeed. First, use energy conservation principles to determine the speed of the students at the bottom of the swing, assuming that they are at rest when they step off the bridge. Let's proceed. Remember, when the students are up at this point of the bridge, they have potential energy, no kinetic energy. If we define, which would be a wise idea, the zero of potential energy to be the bottom most point of the swing, then their final energy is all in the form of kinetic energy. So our energy transformation in this problem becomes UG to K. Note that we don't need the mass of the students to actually perform this part of the calculation. We simply note the height and note that that transforms fully into kinetic energy. We can get rid of the mass and V is equal to the square root of 2GH which, if I were to calculate it, which I will right now, is 2 times 9.8 times the height, which is 8 meters. And then I'll take the square root, and I get 12.5 meters per second, which is quite a clip. All right, now let's look at part B. Calculate the tension in the cord when they reach the bottom of the swing and show that it is much greater than the combined weight of the students. Alas, the follies of youth. Okay, so we have our string. We have our college students, which I'm going to represent as a ball. And the first thing we need to do is a free body diagram. Here's the center of the circle for reference, and we know that they're rotating with a velocity v equals 12 meters per second at the bottom and the radius of this swing is eight meters. Upwards pulls the tension, downwards pulls the collective weight. And since the centripetal direction in this particular circle is upwards, the net centripetal force must be up, so tension must be greater than weight. And I'll note that on the side. Using Newton's second law, the circular addition, we can plug in values and solve for the tension. Remember, we always want to subtract forces pointing towards the center minus forces pointing away from the center. So in this case, the correct expression is T minus W equals M V squared over R. Let's plug in our numbers. T minus the weight, which is, I'll calculate that over here, 65 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared times three for the six students is 1,911 newtons. That's quite a bit of weight. Tension minus 1,911 newtons is equal to the mass, which is 65 times three, 195 kilograms, times the velocity squared, which is 12.5 meters per second squared, divided by the radius, which is eight meters. And we get that the tension is equal to 195 times 12.5 squared, sorry about that, divided by eight, plus 1,911. For a grand total of 5,719. 0.5 newtons. In other words, this parable does not end well.